they have always marched to the beat of their own drum. Their lives are not significantly affected by how others shift around them. A Sigma man is his own man. We've heard about the alpha male. He is brash and loud, and is obviously the boss of the pack. Then, there is the beta, capable but willing to take the sidelines. So, who is this Sigma guy? Shalom, my people. I am Sigma Male Wolf, and this is Who's Out of Order. Now, on Who's Out of Order, what I do is I react to videos and news stories. Then I tell you who I think is out of order. It could be one person, could be two, three, four, or maybe more. Or it could be none. But it's my opinion, and that's the bottom line. All right, my people. We've got a news story here today from Yahoo News. And it is titled Tyree Nichols' death. Former Memphis police officers charged with second degree murder. All right, we're not going to waste no time. We're just going to get right into the video. Let's get it. Of the horrific circumstances surrounding the death of Tyree Nichols, it is absolutely incumbent upon me, your chief, to address the status of what the Memphis Police Department is doing has done and will continue to do in furtherance of finding truth in this tragic loss, ensuring we communicate with honesty and transparency and that there is absolute accountability for those responsible for Tyree's death. As you know, five Memphis police officers were terminated last week. These officers were found to be directly responsible for the physical abuse of Mr. Nichols. Concurrent within that investigation, other MPD officers are still under investigation for department policy violations. Some infractions are less egregious than others. As this investigation and other external investigations continue, I promise full and complete cooperation from the Memphis Police Department with the Department of Justice, the FBI, the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, and the Shelby County District Attorney's Office to determine the entire scope of facts that contributed to Tyree Nichols' death. Aside from being your chief of police, I am a citizen of this community we share. I am a mother. I am a caring human being who wants the best for all of us. This is not just a professional failing. This is a failing of basic humanity toward another individual. This incident was heinous, reckless, and inhumane. And in the vein of transparency, when the video is released in the coming days, you will see this for yourselves. I expect you to feel what the Nichols family feels. I expect you to feel outrage in the disregard of basic human rights, as our police officers have taken an oath to do the opposite of what transpired on the video. I expect our citizens to exercise their First Amendment right to protest, to demand action and results. But we need to ensure our community is safe in this process. None of this is a calling card for inciting violence or destruction on our community or against our citizens. In our hurt, in our outrage and frustration, there is still work to be done to build each other up to continue the momentum of improving our police and community relationships and partnerships, to show those who watch us now that this behavior is not what will define our community and our great city. This is not a reflection of the good work that many Memphis police officers do every day. What comes next is our defining moment. What we all do next can be that reflection of our character. I am not wavering in my commitment to you to have a police force that is here to serve and protect you. Those five officers and others failed our community and they failed the Nichols family and that is beyond regrettable. I have met with and offered condolences to Tyree's mother and father and have asked for the support of our community leaders and clergy in this extremely difficult moment, but words are only temporary salves that need to be followed by true responsible action and change. It is my intent as a proactive measure to ensure that a complete and independent review is conducted on all of the Memphis Police Department's specialized units and the commitment of my executive leadership to ensure that policies and procedures are adhered to in our daily encounters with the citizens we are sworn to serve. In the days ahead, I ask that you continue to pray for the family of Tyree Nichols 
the Memphis Police Department, and our great city. All right, man. It sounds like these boys are sunk. Police department is not backing y'all up. They're not backing y'all up. That means that video has to be very disturbing. There's no if, ands, buts about it. We got to see that video. We got to see the video because they are not backing them up at all. This had to be like brutal. Look at them. Hey, last last video they had on the uniforms. Now look at them. Hoodies. Yeah. Yeah, I see y'all. I see y'all. Y'all don't look as uh tough. You don't have them uniforms on now. Yeah, y'all y'all facing a murder charge. All right. Let's let's get into this. Let's see. The five police officers fired in the death of Tyree Nichols, a 29-year-old black man who died three days after a traffic stop earlier this month, were behind bars on Thursday. Last week, the five officers, Tadarius Bean, Demetrius Haley, Emmett Martins III, Desmond Mills Jr., and Justin Smith, involved in Nichols January 7th arrest were terminated. They were booked at the Shelby County Jail in Memphis and were each charged with second degree murder, aggravated kidnapping, aggravated assault, acting in concert, official misconduct, and official oppression, according to online records from the sheriff's office. During a press conference on Thursday, Shelby County District Attorney Steve Mulroy said authorities met with Nichols' family to discuss the charges filed against the officers beforehand, and he believes the meeting went well. Man, I, they got to be feeling crazy as hell. You know, I don't know their their past um, record or anything, but it sounds like, and this is what I'm just going off of. Like I said, they can have a clean record, but the way the police department is not backing them up is this video is really, really disturbing or they've been watching them anyway. They've got a history of this. And this was the last straw. I don't know that. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. The video got to be horrific. All right. While each of the five individuals played a different role in the incident in question, the actions of all of them resulted in the death of Tyree Nichols. And they were all responsible. Mulroy said... Adding the body camera footage will be released Friday after 6 p.m. local time. Man, look at that man. Look at that man. They, they beat him like that. They beat that man like that. Look at that picture. They beat that man. Ah, oh, something terrible. On Wednesday evening, Memphis Police Chief Sarah Lynn C.J. Davis said in a video statement in which she braced the community ahead of the release of the body cam footage showing Nichols' arrest that the beating he received was horrendous, reckless, and inhumane. I'm, I told you. This is why they can't back them up because they can't. There's nothing. There's nothing. They can't back them up. The video's so bad. They like, look, we can't back these dudes up. Let's fire them. Let's get them off the force. Let's separate ourselves from them. We cannot back them up. That's how bad this video has to be. Uh, this is not a professional feeling. This is a feeling of basic humanity. 
towards another individual. They failed our community and they failed the Nichols family. That is beyond regrettable, Davis said. On Monday, Nichols family held a press conference along civil rights attorney Ben Crump and their legal team after seeing the video footage for the first time. I, that's got man that has got to be crazy to watch a loved one a family member in their last moments being beaten by the people that are supposed to protect them protect and serve they they watch that man get beaten to death to death Over a traffic stop. This is what I don't understand. How does a traffic stop turn into death? See, here's my thing. The police officer always has the control. I'm not going to say all this. I'm, I'm not going to say all this. The police, the police officer, in most cases, have control of the situation. They can de-escalate the situation. I know sometimes people are a little erratic and they get crazy and, you know, they do, do some things. But sometimes, man, instead of escalating with the person, you need to try to de-escalate the situation. But I think these police officers now across the country are on notice that you can't just turn up on 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 a person just because you feel like it see those days are over with those days are over where y'all could just turn up kill 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 a suspect or kill a, kill the person you stopped in trail traffic stop and nothing happened to you those days are over now nowadays you become a criminal just like the people that you suspect are criminals so now you have to watch what you do to these people. Where was I? All right. All my son was trying to do was get home. He was two minutes from the house when they stopped him. Two minutes. The man was almost home. Two minutes away from his home. He was less than 80 yards away when they murdered him, Nichols' mother said. Crump described the video as appalling. It is deplorable. It is heinous, violent, and it is very troublesome on every level. This is what I say. I said this in the last video. This video has to be horrible. It's got to be horrible. Regrettably, it reminded us of Rodney King video. And unlike Rodney King, Tyree did not survive, Crump said. Crump's co-counsel described Nichols as defenseless in the video. Damn am defenseless so was he cuffed was he cuffed up and then just just kept whooping on him is that what happened see this this is just despicable this is despicable He was a pinata to those officers. It was an unadulterated, unbashed, non-stop beating of this young boy for three minutes. Lawyer Antonio Roman Nussi said during the press conference. I don't know if it said, said his name right, but you know. Sorry, Romanusi. 
ahead of the body camera footage being released the police chief urged the community to not respond with violence and destruction now here's the thing i'm not sure if people really know how to react it was five black officers and they were beating on one black man one defenseless black man so i'm not sure after the they they watch this video i'm not sure how they're gonna react but i know what we used to say when i was young and i remember when nwa came out and ice cube said they'll beat you down to the street top black police showing out for the white cop still rings true to this day i see i expect you to feel what the nichols family feels i expect you to feel outraged by the disregard for basic human rights as our police officers have taken an oath to do the opposite of what transpired on the video davis said i expect our citizens to exercise their first amendment rights to protest to demand action and results but we need to ensure our community as safe in this process she she added while the five officers involved in nichols death were terminated his family says that is not enough i agree i agree if this videotape is as horrible as i think it is whoo yeah it's not enough it's not enough they want first degree murder charges the memphis police department says it is committed to transparency and rebuilding trust in the community it is not a reflection of the good work that many memphis police officers do every day said davis i am not wavering in my commitment to you to have a police force that is here to serve and protect My heart went out to the family, Melroy told the Associated Press. I am a parent. I can't imagine anything worse than losing a child with the possible exception of losing a child under really violent, prolonged circumstances. Man, let me tell you something. I was, I was, while I was reading this, man, I started thinking about my children. I started thinking about my sons and the, the police pulled my sons over and did the exact same thing to them. Now I'm be honest. I'd be like his family. I don't want no second degree murder. Not if my child wasn't doing anything. Not if that beating was so severe that they had to fire these people that quick first degree murder and 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 here's the thing here's the thing keep them locked up too keep them in keep them locked up don't let them out no bond no bond i don't need them on the streets i don't need them on the streets All right, let's 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 continue. As the investigation continues, the director of the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, David Rosh, I probably messed that up, but all right, said they plan to pursue truth and justice. Simply put, this shouldn't have happened. I'm shocked. I'm sickened 
by what I saw, what we've learned throughout the extensive and thorough investigation. It's absolutely appalling, Ross said in the press conference Thursday. Let me be clear. What happened here does not at all reflect proper policy. I'm telling you this was horrible. I'm telling y'all this was horrible. I knew what I said it in the last video before we knew any of this. I said it. I'm telling you, they fired him like quick, just like that. So they made distance quick. They said, look, we are separating the police department from these officers. That's how bad it was. Alleged. On Monday, the Nichols family legal team completed an independent autopsy. Preliminary findings indicate Tyree suffered extensive bleeding caused by a severe beating, Crump said, of the autopsy. The Reverend Al Sharpton said he will deliver the eulogy at Nichols' funeral and will stand by the family along with civil rights advocates to ensure they receive justice. Firing these officers for misconduct is not enough, Sharpton said in a statement. Justice will only be served when all five are charged with killing Tyree Nichols for the simple act of driving while black. Driving Rob Wild Black. He took that back to the 80s or the 90s. All right. All right. The show is called Who's Out of Order. And on Who's Out of Order, what I do is I react to videos and news stories. Then I tell you who I think is out of order. All right. From reading this, like I said, I mean, you already know what I think. I I think I've expressed myself pretty well. Um, Of course, all the officers are out of order. And it's, and, and it's mainly because I know that that video is bad because everybody that's seen it said it was horrific, said it was a beating. There, I mean, generally, a lot of these videos come out and then, you know, there's there's size to it, you know, and and there's more investigation and all that stuff. They came right out and they, they just saying, look, we're going to be transparent. They fucked this dude up. That's basically what they said. I mean, she didn't have to go through all that extra stuff in the beginning in that video. She should, she could have just came on and said, look, they fucked that dude up and we not backing it. We fired them. They're no longer officers of the law. So the law is going to have to deal with them. They fucked up and we step in the fuck back and let them fry. She could have said that. I'm telling you. All right. So if you like the video, hit the like button. And uh, comment. Let me know what you think about this whole situation. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way, every time a new video comes out, you are notified. So with that, I'm going to say peace and be one.